What's going on guys and welcome back to the University of Texas at San Antonio Dynasty here on NCAA Football 13. And this series has arguably become the most popular thing I am posting on my channel. And so this was the week we played Texas State, the I-35 rivalry. And look at this. I went to my recruiting board and our number one prospect, I didn't rank him number one, but Fred Arnold, the guy who I really wanted and coveted that middle linebacker, decided to go to Colorado. And so in the live stream, I did this video in, if you didn't know, I did this in a live stream um, on Friday. It was like the 19th, I believe, which is what started the hashtag Okasha for Heisman trend and is led to a bunch of crazy things and so it was a great time streaming and now I'm gonna post all these games that I've played in streams in actual episodes and catch myself back up before streaming again and so I was really bummed out that Fred Arnold decided to go to Colorado instead of UTSA. He was the guy who I really wanted to help anchor the middle of this defensive front seven. And, well, he's going to Colorado. And I already decided this in the live stream, guys. Week one next year, our first game, whatever, it's going to be against Colorado. And we're going to show Fred Arnold the team that he should have committed for to play middle linebacker. And so there's a couple other cornerbacks I was going for. But now we're about to get into the action here against Texas State. And it's our last game before conference play kicks off. The I-35 rivalry. We've got to go against Sean Rutherford, their quarterback, and their spread offense attack, but we are prepared. We just wrapped up playing against the Texas Longhorns in a game that we struggled in. It was like 38-14, to 14, I believe the score was. Played them a little bit better, actually, than we did against Minnesota. Played them to a tighter score, at least. And so I got a few episodes to post to you guys before I start streaming again. I do want to keep streaming this series. People really enjoy it. They've been my most popular streams easily. And of course, as you guys know, Evan Zocaccia, David Glasgow, and Darian Starling enjoyed watching the stream and so I'm going to keep streaming hopefully and everybody keeps enjoying this series so into the action we go Texas State with the ball Terrence Franks takes the handoff and Texas State likes to speed up the tempo here on the no huddle spread offense handoff again to Terrence Franks but this time we put him down here in the backfield for a loss of one now Sean Rutherford is still out of the shotgun man in motion takes a snap now looking to throw for the first time and he's going to take off we quickly wrap him up here have to be aware of the dual threat quarterback and his opportunities he could have to get some yards against his defense. So now we have the ball. David Morgan makes the catch from Eric Souza for a first down. Hand the ball off to Evans Okacha. He's going to get one yard on this run going off tackle left side. Second down and nine. Now Souza finds Jeremiah Moeller who's going to go underneath and get about seven yards on the play bringing up third down and short. We want to get this first down by running the ball. Evans Okacha. he's going to get the first down into Texas State territory as we're looking to get the first points on the board this game. Third down and nine though. Souza's got to get a conversion rolling to his right scrambling under pressure and perfect touch on this pass to Kenny Harrison just let him towards the sideline let him run to the spot inbounds nicely done so over the middle now Jeremiah Moeller inside the 10 yard line to the five and now we want to punch a ball into the end zone with our ground game Nate Shaw in the backfield and he's going to go off tackle up the right side touchdown Roadrunners they take the first lead of this game seven nothing UTSA now once again on defense handoff Terrence Franks up the middle gets about five or six on this carry and now third down and three can we hold him here again Rutherford back to pass under pressure and he is sacked for a loss of eight yards on the play good pressure from our defensive line getting us back the ball handoff Evans Okacha left side that's gonna be good for a first down once again in Bobcats territory second and ten play action this time Souza moving backwards and throwing off his back foot I really messed up there I should have definitely set my feet I had the time to do so and because it was off my back foot the receiver had to come back to the ball and that caused him to drop after getting hit so then Souza takes a sack later and we have an update here that Maryland has knocked off number seven in the nation West Virginia nice upset there back into our game now though we're in the second quarter by the way and Terrence Franks and Texas State has the ball on offense once again getting a first down on the ground trying to get a stretch of first downs together and get their offense rolling a little bit they have the tempo but we're playing very good on third down but now Rutherford taking off he's gonna get the first down and that'll continue to move the chains here as they get the first down on first down and now second down and 10 Rutherford once again we have to get those spies in effect here the safeties will be playing in the box and stop the quarterbacks from scrambling what you got to do against these spread offense teams then Rutherford on third down and two will bring the pressure he puts the ball on the ground and it's picked up by a player from Texas State and I thought he was going to get the first down and that would have really made me upset but we got it holding penalty on them as well and so 
we're going to decline the penalty. They punt the ball. Still playing good defense here in the first half. Souza, second down and six. Moving to the left in the pocket. And he's going to take off and scramble for a big first down. I tried to pitch it backwards to Evan Zokacha. I thought we could get a big play there. I thought we had an opportunity, but uh, apparently the game didn't want me to pitch it. So we hand the ball off to Okacha. He gets about three yards, making it third down and eight. As Souza is out of the shotgun, he has Okacha to his right. Looking to make a first down pass here. Plenty of time to throw. Open man is Brandon Freeman. And he hits him for a first down. They could not get the pass rush. We just waited for the man to get open. And now Souza on second and ten. Going deep towards the end zone. Touchdown Cam Jones. Streaking down the middle of the field. Getting behind the safety. Or as I like to call it, taking the top off the defense. And now UTSA assumes a 14-point lead, and Sean Rutherford continuing to take off and scramble. I got out of position there when I went to go use your player, and so they're in Roadrunner territory for the first time, going long. We almost got the interception there. Nice play on the ball by the safety. And so now second down and 10 out of the shotgun again, Rutherford to pass. And now he's heaving it long, one-on-one. -on -one. Isaiah Battle makes the catch into the end zone. Touchdown. Got behind the cornerback, Eric Brown. We'll see that once again. Isaiah Battle has, has great size for an outside receiver, and if you look back at the stat sheet before this episode started you can see how much production he's already had this year and so now the 32 seconds to go in the first half I always love to go down the field and try to get some points if I can especially because I have three timeouts on second and ten however I throw a curl route to Cam Jones the corner trailing behind Brandon Freeman cut in front of Cam Jones when the ball was thrown and made the interception and so a pivotal interception I need to stop throwing the ball inside of a minute to go in the first half on Madden on NCAA all I do is throw picks and so now we're playing defense, trying to hold him from even scoring at all. Ten seconds to go, Rutherford. He's back in the pocket once again, going deep. He has Isaiah Battle for another touchdown. So just like that, Texas State with two big plays. They've gotten back into the game, tied it up, and now have the momentum going into the second half. Isaiah Battle putting the team on his back, though, in the first half. 14-14 as we go to the second half now. We're getting the kickoff to begin the third quarter. Kenny Harrison at his own four-yard line fields it and takes it upfield now a couple of blocks nice kick out right there and there goes Kenny Harrison across midfield 40 to the 30 trying to cut inside and make the last man miss but he could not but still great field position for the Roadrunners and that was a great step in us getting our momentum back we hand the ball off to Evans Okacha on first down he gets seven so we got second and three coming up now Souza back to throw flushed out to his right side and underhand tosses it to Okacha he loses a few yards on the play and there's also a flag and they call it holding on the offense so we're Backed up 10 yards for second down and 13 now as we try to go reclaim our lead. We have three receivers out now. Souza back to throw. Good protection. Wants to go long now to the end zone. Intercepted by Xavier Daniels. Nice play. Jumped up in front of Brandon Freeman for the interception. We'll watch that one one more time because the catch animation they had in here was really nice. He just hops up there and it looked pretty authentic. That was a good play right there. I got to give him props for that one. But we lose the ball now and perhaps lose our momentum. But we're going to go back after this quarterback. He wanted the screen pass we weren't going to give it to him sack loss of 12 on the play now third down and 13 Rutherford back to throw he has room to run it looks like he's going to go long instead and it's almost intercepted it should have been a pick but he dropped it and then tried to dive for it so we have the ball now in Bobcat territory after a punt Brandon Freeman over the middle that's a first down for the Roadrunners as they look to avoid a turnover on this possession, Okacha up the middle, big first down inside the five yard line to the four, putting them at first and goal now, Okacha with 4.1 yards of carry so far this game, 54 rushing yards on first and goal, Souza looking to throw and wide open in the end zone, Brandon Freeman, the easiest touchdown toss we could have possibly gotten there in that situation, and it's now 21-14, tie is broken, we're back in the lead, and we're going after Rutherford, Sean Rutherford cannot run on this defense, we can't let him use his legs to get first downs and get this team momentum back on offense on third and seven now intercepted we'll take that as Brown tries to make up for those big touchdowns he gave up in the first half to Isaiah Battle and now we have the ball once again the defense is all pumped they've been playing a pretty good game overall and we have the ball on second and ten we're towards the end of the third quarter handoff Evans Okacha and he's tackled in the backfield maybe lost a quarter or a half or a yard on that play so third and ten Souza trying to lead this team downfield again under pressure he takes the sack and Texas State follows up a turnover with a pretty good defensive stand Sean Ruth back in the pocket now on offense again wants to take off but we got Jerron Harris over there and then defensive tackle takes him down we have second down and 14 now we're spying the safety in here we know he's going to be running if he can he wants to run but Jerron Harris is going to put him down for the sack great pressure from this defense really making it easy on us playing against this spread offense with a dual threat quarterback Terrence Franks on third and 22 and Jerron Harris is just too good not going anywhere so we get the ball back now great field position as Souza is now going to scramble to his right 
right, and he's going to take the sack after breaking a tackle. Third and 21 coming up. As UTSA looks for a little bit of insurance on offense, they would need a big play here, though, to convert. And going deep, we're going to get just that with Jonah Monroe taking the top off the defense like Cam Jones did earlier in the game and just streaked down the middle of the field and getting behind the defensive secondary. Touchdown, Roadrunners, 28-14 here with three minutes to go in the game. We're in good position here to get our second win on the season. But we have to stop this Texas State offense and limit big plays given up on defense. Second down and six, Rutherford wants to take off. But he's going to run into a pair of defensive linemen and go down. Third down and eight. Maybe he'll think twice about running this time. Under pressure, going to Terrence Franks underneath. Complete pass, though, short of the first down marker by five yards. But inside of two minutes, they got to go for it. Rutherford under pressure. Jerron Harris hits the screen pass to Isaiah Battle. Went to their star offensive player, and he does get the first down. So nice play. But 14 points in a minute, 15 seconds now. Rutherford has to stretch his field. He has a man open. That's Gilmore, tackled by Tristan. Way at the 25 yard line hit pretty hard and Sean Rutherford was actually shaken up so their backup quarterbacks in the game he has a really clean pocket going to the end zone touchdown Gilmore and this isn't quite over yet it's 21 28 in favor of UTSA Texas State needs the onside kick and they kick it five yards and touch it first so we're gonna get the ball automatically we do recover it anyway and so UTSA guys is gonna go on to win this game and move on to two and two before heading on a conference USA play big win here in the Alamo Dome over Ryan Texas State winners of the I-35 rivalry. The Roadrunners are victorious in this game. Richard Burge, four sacks on the day, and that was a big reason why we were playing so strong on defense. Pressuring Sean Rutherford and making it tough for the spread offense to succeed. So next up, guys, we go against the Marshall Thundering Herd. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.